is also worth making. During the referendum campaign, we were in Scotland repeatedly told by Westminster politicians that Scotland was an equal and valued member of the UK. That contrary to how many of us sometimes feel, our voice did matter within the Westminster system. So what I would say is this, don't be at all surprised if the SNP, the Scottish Government, indeed Scotland as a whole, now starts to take those Westminster politicians at their word. We have clear and constructive views on many aspects of UK policy which affect Scotland deeply. And these are views which we know are often shared by many people elsewhere in the UK. And we intend to bring those ideas forward in a positive spirit. So we will argue for different tax and spending decisions. This morning I've used the examples of oil and gas, the work allowance and Trident. We will argue for a moderate approach to deficit reduction, one that doesn't penalise the vulnerable and hold back economic growth. And we will, crucially, if we get the chance, bring to bear our hard-earned experience of government, including of successful minority government, in arguing for a different, better way of doing things. Budgets should take equality impact seriously and use consultation much more effectively. Politicians should all be a bit more open to compromise, complexity, even doubt. Policy making as a whole needs to move a bit further from the arcane rituals of the House of Commons and a bit closer to the model of the crowdsourced constitution. None of this is easy. Neither my party nor my government has all of the answers, far from it. But we know we need to try and we do want to be part of that effort. So if we get the opportunity, we intend to be a constructive voice in the months and years ahead. We won't just serve Scotland's interests, although we will most certainly do that, but we will seek to do more than that. If we get the opportunity, we will also seek to play our part in bringing about positive, long-lasting and progressive change right across the United Kingdom. Thank you very much indeed. Thank <laughs> you.